It's the space between your genitals and your anus or your butthole. And this is home for a urologist. But what is the purpose of the perineum? Why do we have it? I'm gonna get into it. No man's land, the bite seat area, armpit of the south. In urology, we call this the perineum. It's the space between your genitals and your anus or your butthole. And this is home for a urologist. But what is the purpose of the perineum? Why do we have it? I'm gonna get into it. So I had no idea all these different slang names existed for this area. It was only a few years ago when a patient told me about the word taint and I discovered that for the first time. But the perineum, like I said, is a familiar home for urologists like me. We often have to perform surgery in this area or near this area. So why does this area exist and what problems can exist here or arise here? Well, first of all, all of us have a perineum. This area is not exclusive to penis owners. Vulva owners have one too, albeit much shorter or smaller than our penis owners. The space is twice as long in penis owners as it is in vulvas. The perineum supports our pelvic floor muscles. It also protects important nerves and blood vessels to allow us to enjoy three P's, pee, poop, and pleasure. In vulvas, this area contains a confluence or convergence of pelvic floor muscles, and it's important for supporting the vagina and facilitating normal pooping or defecation. Vaginal delivery puts an immense amount of strain on the perineum, and up to 70% of those who deliver vaginally have some degree of vaginal or perineal injury requiring stitches. If it's just the top layer of the skin or right under the skin layer, that is considered a first degree injury. If it's deeper than that and involving the muscles of the perineum, but not the muscles around the anus, that is a second degree. When the muscles around the anus are involved, controlling pooping, that's a third degree. And finally, if the injury also involves the inside of the anus itself, it's a fourth degree. Damage to the perineum can also occur with blunt trauma to the area, i.e. accidentally falling on your crotch, what we call a straddle injury. Also, the perineum can be damaged forcibly via sexual assault. Penis owner's perineum is twice as long, as I've said. This area is well-known erogenous zone for men, highly sensitive with nerves and blood vessels. Pressure here can be quite arousing. While women are at higher risk for perineal injury due to childbirth, penis owners are more likely to have an injury to their urethra with a straddle injury. That's because a large portion of the male urethra lives in the perineum. And so injury in that straddle area can cause significant damage to the urethra and in some cases require major reconstructive surgery to be able to urinate normally. Occasionally injuries here can also affect the penis's ability to have an erection or get up. So motorcyclists, cyclists, horse riders, y'all take it easy because you guys are more likely to sustain a perineal injury than anyone else. Perineums in the vulvas and penis can become painful either due to pelvic floor tension, inflammation, infection, lumps, or bumps in this area, or nerve sensitivity. Sometimes urologists like myself have to perform surgery in this area. A lot of times we do. Common reasons to perform surgery in the taint for penis owners includes repairing the urethra, removing the prostate either for cancer or other benign reasons, treating men who leak urine when they cough, laugh, sneeze, exercise, treating anal or colorectal cancer. Common reasons you may have to operate in this area in vulva owners, including reconstructing the perineum after childbirth, reconstructing the area if something is falling out of the vagina and prolapsing and causing the perineum to get stretched out, cosmetically to improve appearance of the vulva and possibly enhance sexual pleasure by making the vaginal opening a little bit tighter, and less often loosening over tightening or narrowing of the vagina to make it less tight and more able to accommodate penetration. So there you have it. That's our perineum. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and join your girl every Wednesday for everything down here, right here.